Hey guys, so today I want to show you how to actually go through the steps to get your fan page verified. So let me just show you. If you go over to, let's go to my page here. And if you look on my timeline here, just in case those of you don't understand like what it means to have a verified fan page, some fan pages that you go to, you'll see this little check mark next to your name. Now in the past, Facebook didn't really disclose how they actually gave out these check marks, which gives you a verified page. Um, so one of the things that you want to do as a marketer is definitely get a verified page, meaning you are verified by Facebook. So what you're going to do is I'm going to put the link below this video, and it's going to take you to this section here that says, can I request that my page or profile be verified? So what you need to do first of all is you need to make sure that your fan page is categorized as either a celebrity, a public figure, a sports team, media, and entertainment. Okay, so most of you that are watching this are probably going to change yours to public figure if you haven't already. So where you're going to do that is, is if you go to the About Me section here, right up here it says Category. You can hover over this little Edit button right here, click Edit, and then you can change the category right here. Right, so now if you have yourself categorized under something else in this section here, change it to people, then go over to public figure, which is right here, then click save the changes. Then you want to come back here, if you didn't have it already set, at one of these options here, and then you need to submit a request. Now you'll want to make sure that you are actually logged in to your Facebook personal account in order to fill out this form. So from there, you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on fill out this form. And here's where you are going to request a verified badge to be put on your page, which is just simply that little blue check mark next to your name. And you'll come in here and you'll select the page. So I could come in here and select, let's say, Bill's fan page. And then from there, to confirm your request, you'll need to attach one of the following official documents. So driver's license, passport, birth certificate, articles of incorporation if you represent a media, entertainment or sports company so you'll simply just click on choose the file and I could come in here and find where I have this saved and I would choose that from my desktop where I have the document which happens to be Bill's driver's license saved right here and then if you have an official website, it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and put that link here. So I'm going to go ahead and put Bill's blog here. It's just one more little step to prove to Facebook that you are the person who owns this page. You've sent in the documentation that um, is going to give Facebook proof that you are the owner of that fan page because the fan page's name matches the fan page, I mean your driver's license, passport, or birth certificate. And then by adding a website again, you're showing them that it's you know the same thing, that it's just more documentation, more proof that you are who you say you are. Then from there, all you need to do is click send. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And that will take Facebook a couple of days to get back to you on that. Now, where that will take you after you click send is a place that a lot of people I don't think know exists. It's called the support inbox. So what you might want to do is you might want to go ahead and bookmark the URL that it takes you to. So I could come in here and I'm just going to bookmark this page in my browser. So I can come here later on and this just shows you basically all the support tickets that you have sent in to Facebook. And this will help you stay up to date with what you know they're saying as far as the response goes. They're going to give you an update. So this is really helpful information that I don't think a lot of people know about. Um, so definitely bookmark this page. So let's go back and I want to show you one more thing. Down here before you actually click send, you can learn more about verified pages and profiles right here by clicking on that. And it just basically is going to tell you what it means to have a verified page. I know a lot of you have asked, how do you get your page verified? Um, I'm not really, you know, I don't really think that it's it helps you too much as a marketer other than it's really cool to have that little check mark next to your name, okay? <laughs> so I, I think that, you know, if you go through here, if you want to see what it does for you, I mean, it really does not do anything extra for you. It doesn't give you more organic reach or gets all your Facebook ads approved um, it's just basically right now just verifies it's a you know verification process and again I think it's just a lot of marketers want it because it's cool 
So anyways, that's how you have to get your page verified. I hope that helps. And again, I will put the link below this video so you can get access to that and go through the process of getting your page verified. Now, it may not. Um, we have tried this before in the past on Bill's page and they did not verify it. Um, so I just encourage you to try to do it again. Maybe send in a different documentation. They didn't give a specific reason on why. Um, but Facebook is quirky like that. So just go back in and try it again if they don't verify it the first time. So I hope you enjoyed this training video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.